Okay, once we got our um, once we've got our accent piece put on a layer, we'll go ahead and select the other piece of artwork, and we'll right mouse click on it, and we'll move it to a new layer as well. So again, you select it, you right mouse click, and you move to a new layer. And as you can see here in my layer uh, my layer uh, palette here, it shows I've already created accents. And on this one, I'm going to create Y uh, hyphen outline. The reason I do that is the name I put in for that layer will actually become the name of the tool file that I create. And I'll click something like uh, maybe dark blue. Okay. And hit OK on that. And over here on my palette menu to the left, kind of like Illustrator, I can always go back and review my layers. If you come up here and you select on one, you can tile windows, tile to tool pass. Then you can come down here and you can look at all the different little aspects of the tools that you can use. And here you see layers. Now I've got accents and I've got uh, outlines. So the first thing I want to do with this up, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light bulb on the uh, outlines. I'll turn off the outlines on layer one because it's really I don't need it. I'll turn off the layer one, it's all. So I hit close. Now I'm going to create a toolpath. I'll come over to my toolpath panel on the right hand side and I'll pin it down. Now what I'm going to do is put a tool over the top of this and I'm going to use a bit called a V groove to cut a groove into the piece which gives me an area by which I can come back later and paint my part and I have outlines. Kind of like the old saying, you know, you know, uh, paint by numbers and paint into the shapes you got. So I'll go ahead and select profile toolpath over here. You got, you got profile toolpath, you got pockets, you've got drilling, um, uh, drilling out holes, you've got uh, v-carving of letters, and you got all kind of different stuff. So at this time I'll select um, profile toolpath. Now as it comes up, it's got some settings already created. You want to always start your cut depth at zero. And in this case here, I'm not going to cut all the way through the board. Before I go any further, let's stop here. I forgot to cover one thing. I'm going to cancel out of that, close out, go back over to our job. In our job setup, we need to make sure we have the, the layer or the size of our material set correctly. Well, in this case, I'm using half inch MDF, so I know my, my size is, is half inch. If I was using three quarter inch plywood, I would set it that way. If I was cutting out eighth inch MDF, I would set it that way. But in our case right here, we're going to say half inch. So I'll go ahead and uh, accept that. Make sure that's okay. And then we'll go back over here to create that tool path. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that my cutter goes all the way through my piece and into my spoil board. A spoil board is a piece of material or scrap plywood that we put underneath our part that we're milling out. So I'm going to set this to 5 eighths. That's plenty good. And the next thing I'm going to do, actually, actually I'm not going to be cutting all the way through it. This is going to be a carving. So I'm going to set my cut depth to 0.125 and that's an eighth of an inch. Then I'll come down here because all I'm going to do is carve in about an eighth of an inch. Actually I may make that a little smaller. Let's drop that down to 0.0875, um, a little more than a sixteenth. Now what I'm going to do is select my bit. I'll come over here and select the bit or the cutter that I'm going to cut with and I'm going to use a V bit that I've already set up and customized. This V-bit has a 60 degree angle on the front of the tool, on the, on the tip of the tool, that lets us cut a slot or a groove into our part, and it's called a V-groove. Our router spins at 21,000 RPMs per minute, which is pretty fast, and that's typical of most uh, Porter Cable routers, or Bosch, or um, Sears routers. So I hit apply and accept that. Now what I'm going to do is say how I mill this particular part. I can go around the part on the uh, profile that I see. Okay, first of all, I'm going to make sure I got the part selected that I want to, uh, I want to laser out with the feature. So now what I'm going to do is go directly on top of those lines and I'm going to set up a path that goes over the top of it. So I'll do that. I don't need a tab because I'm not holding this down. I'm just cutting a groove. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this name um, Y hyphen accents accents. And I'm going to go ahead and hit calculate. So now what it did was it brought us up into a three-dimensional window where I can actually see my, my cut. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this or rotate that at an angle and zoom up and zoom out using my center mouse wheel and I can see my cut. As you notice, there's three cuts that you see here because I do a very, very light toolpath. And now what I'm going to do is simulate that toolpath. I'll say reset preview and I'll hit that. And what the tool is doing now is it's showing you the groove that I'm actually cutting into the piece. Okay, well that's good. So now what I'll do is you'll notice I got a toolpath set. I'm going to go ahead and hit um, stop for now 